So there's been a lot of noise and fear recently about AI replacing programmers and engineers recently with the rise of robotics and AI chatbots, notably ChatGPT and AI models like Dolly 3, as well as Sora that can generate insanely realistic pictures and videos from a simple line of text. I don't know if it's because I'm a content creator and engineer myself, but I find all of this to be both exciting and frightening at the same time. Now, I I definitely do think it's human nature to feel scared or threatened by AI doing our jobs. But first and foremost, I think it's important to understand the implications and pros and cons of AI within the context of our own profession. If you guys didn't already know, my background is in mechanical engineering. So of course, that's what the focus of today's video will be on. Been doing a lot of research on this topic as of late, and I've learned that much of my fears is actually actually irrational. I've also learned to view AI through various different lenses, which is also something I want to share with you today. Like with all tools such as a scientific calculator, AI and its impact on mechanical engineers can be both positive and negative depending on how it's implemented and utilized. As mechanical engineers, we use computer-aided design software like SOLIDWORKS and Creo to design products consisting of parts and assemblies as well as to draft technical drawings used for part fabrication. Product design actually requires a lot of innovation and creative work to be done up front by mechanical engineers in order to come up with a feasible, solid business and product idea. Product design also includes repetitive and mundane tasks like creating holes, selecting part features, mating components together, and calling out dimensions. AI can eliminate a huge portion of these tasks by predicting and suggesting which entities to select next, automatically inserting multiple instances of components and mates in an assembly by suggesting locations, recommending additional locations to place sketch entities in relation to surrounding geometry, and a whole lot more. Aside from these mundane tasks, AI algorithms can also generate design variations based on specific parameters and constraints provided by the designer. This capability can help us explore a much broader range of design configurations more efficiently and effectively within the design space. Another great example is AI will enable us to quickly create more complex, highly optimized structures leveraging generative design. These softwares implement models such as genetic algorithm and shape grammar, which we won't get into, but essentially mechanical engineers define a design goal in the generative design software, such as minimizing weight and providing load and cost constraints. With these inputs, the software produces an optimized solution refined from a huge set of potential solutions. While the generative design optimized part may be ideal for the constraints presented to it, it may still contain flaws such as compromised strength in unspecified loading modes and geometry that's impossible to manufacture and assemble. But some softwares like ANSYS Discovery and the Topology Study in SOLIDWORKS Simulation already implement AI tools that optimize designs for both additive and subtractive manufacturing processes, which is pretty cool. Now, having said all of this, ultimately, it's still our responsibility to determine what information to feed the algorithm and take the solution for what it's worth. Perhaps the final solution is just a guide or reference that we can borrow some ideas and insights from and incorporate into the final design. These are just a couple ways that AI can help us achieve optimized part designs that might not be immediately evident much faster than the traditional method of creating and modifying designs from scratch based solely on expertise and intuition. Rather than speculating about the future and whether AI will replace a portion of mechanical engineers, which I think is extremely unlikely, at least in our lifetime, given the current state of AI development, we should focus more on how AI is currently and will augment our capabilities to design better products and do our job more effectively and efficiently.
At the same time, we should work on improving ourselves and developing the set of valuable mechanical engineering skills that will make us irreplaceable regardless of where AI takes us. This includes, but is not limited to physics, mathematics, electromechanical design, design for manufacturing and assembly, materials, and programming. To help you develop these valuable skills, there's actually a free and interactive way that I use to learn new concepts and hone my engineering skill set. Today's video is sponsored by Brilliant, which is my go-to platform for hands-on learning in math, science, and engineering. What makes Brilliant stand out is the way it constantly develops its courses, offering the most visual hands-on approach possible to making mastering the key concepts behind today's technologies effective and engaging. Whether you're learning on your phone, tablet, or computer, Brilliant tailors its content to your needs, providing the flexibility for self-paced learning. I've taken all the math, physics, and engineering courses on Brilliant, and they were all game-changing. Their bite-sized lessons and intelligible learning paths substantially improved my information retention compared to traditional lectures. One of my go-to learning experiences is Brilliant's Thinking and Code course. It offers an intuitive progression of computer science lessons that helps you build a solid foundation foundation of programming concepts by allowing you to interactively explore loops, patterns, and variables, which are all important topics to know as a mechanical engineer. Try out everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days using my link, brilliant.org slash engineering gone wild listed in the description below. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Now, AI will play a huge role in streamlining engineering simulations for mechanical engineers. First off, it will automate certain tasks in pre-processing like geometry cleanup and meshing, which if you've ever set up a complex simulation, you know how time-consuming these tasks can be. AI can also leverage machine learning algorithms to solve a simulation by reducing computational time without sacrificing accuracy. This is a huge deal because at the moment, the more accurate and complex a simulation is, the more time and resources it takes to run. So there's this trade-off between accuracy and complexity. Accuracy refers to how well the simulation matches the reality of the physical system, while complexity refers to how many details, variables, and interactions the simulation includes. Ideally, you want your simulation to be as complex and accurate as possible. AI will hopefully enable us to achieve highly accurate and complex simulations with less computing power. In terms of post-processing, AI techniques will allow us to automate the calibration of simulation models by adjusting parameters to match experimental data, reducing the need for manual tuning, and improving model accuracy. It will also allow us to make important design decisions and predict manufacturing performance way more accurately and efficiently than ever before by providing valuable insights extracted from complex simulation outputs that might not be immediately apparent. This applies to all kinds of simulations. It could be a part design optimization for a particular process such as plastic injection molding or a multi-phase flow simulation. Ultimately, AI will shorten the product development process by 25% if not more, allowing us to get through a project much faster and focus on areas that matter most. As engineers, we also do a lot of administrative tasks. AI will, or I should say AI has already begun to trivialize these tasks. This might include drafting emails, business documents, reports, invoices, and presentations. So in a nutshell, AI has already changed the way we work and will continue to have a profound impact on engineers in a multitude of ways, both big and small. Rather than worrying about AI replacing us, the probability of which is very slim, I try to think of the engineering job market transitioning from us working without AI to us working with AI to do our jobs way more accurately and efficiently. Regardless of what AI looks like in 5, 10, 20, or 50 years, it's important that we do not over-rely on AI to do our jobs. 
we still need to develop a solid foundation of mathematics, physics, and the underlying engineering theory, principles, and skills needed to develop products and review and interpret AI-driven results and insights. All right, guys, that's it for today. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any of your own predictions on how AI will impact us, or if you've used any AI-powered tools in your product development workflow, definitely drop a comment below. I will would love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out my video here where I talk about all the essential softwares that mechanical engineers should know. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.